Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Northern Platinum says social tension and calls for higher wages are a significant concern for the company. Anglo Gold says the jewellery sector, which consumes 43% of the firm's gold, needs nurturing. And Atlatsa posts a second half output jump of 27% as efficiencies kick in. Labour issues, combined with relatively weak economic fundamentals, continue to challenge the platinum sector. And while the weaker rand has provided some respite, it doesn't present a long-term solution for maintaining a sustainable industry going forward, says Northern Platinum CEO Glenn Lewis. Labour and social issues, combined with relatively weak economic fundamentals, continue to challenge the platinum industry. The recent weakening of the rand against the dollar has provided some respite, but does not present a long-term solution for maintaining a sustainable injury. Gold producer Anglo Gold Ashanti believes it has to nurture the jewellery industry, as this comprises about 43% of the company's gold market, while a continuous decline in gold jewellery production could lead to a decline in gold demand. We actually believe that we need to nurture the jewelry market industry because, as you heard in the video, it takes up about 43% of our market. And if that continues declining, the demand for gold won't be, people won't see uh, the beautiful gold jewelry that, 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 that we wear. I mean, gold, as you know, has multiple uses in terms of being an investment and also used as a currency. But in the South African context, I don't think many people actually own gold or it's too expensive or it competes with your iPads and iPhones and a new camera. So we would like people like yourselves to to, 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 to support the better design in gold so that people can see it as an aspirational product. Triple listed Atlatsa Resource Corporation says it's achieved its strongest operating quarter and half year performance in five years, lifting platinum group metal ounces by 27.5% from 61,897 ounces in the first half of 2012 to 78,944 ounces for the six months ended June 30. In terms of the technical aspects um, of it, we needed to rectify a number of technical issues um, at the mine. Um, we changed certain support structures um, at the operations. Um, we changed crew sizes and leaf cycles um, at the mine. Um, we also um, did a lot of work in relation to logistics and uh, what we would call generally support infrastructure, um, which has enhanced things. And we also looked at changing, in certain instances, um, our, our best cut or our mining cut. Um, which has effectively resulted in a 10% greater yield for the same amount of effort um, that we, in, in terms of our, our production teams. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.